kids are fucked up. Don't ask them about nothing. They'll just tell you you look like shit and you're shit. Sit down. <laughs> it's their time now. But the older generation are staying younger for longer. You look, must have seen it. We're staying younger at our age. Back at my parents' age, when my dad was 49, he wouldn't have earrings in his ears. He wouldn't take pictures like this. <laughs> you don't. Every one of you lot have seen your grand and granddad's picture. They're all standing up like they're going to be shot. <laughs> granddad's holding on to man's hand. None of them look happy, do they? Always black and white picture. We're young. You don't get full 40 now. We're posing, man. We've got the poses. Yeah. And of course of that, I'm single as well. I can date. I can date either side, because I'm 49. So I can date a 37 year old. 35, 30. fuck it. If she don't look old with me, I can date her. That's the rule of the thumb. If you're walking around and people think, fucking hell, then yeah. If you don't look like, I will do that. But it's a bit dangerous, because you can date younger and you can take older. And there's pros and cons I found out with both sides of shit. <laughs> Dating younger, your age shows up eventually. <laughs> it doesn't matter what is in, you, your age is going to show up, sir. Like, I'll tell you the truth. As I said, I'm 49, so I was a big man when... You know, you young youths, though, the stop-start cars. You know, you drive it, you stop at the lights, they cut out. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you, lie. Everybody over 35, the first time that happened to you, you thought the car ran out of petrol, innit? <laughs> like it stopped, it's like, are we at, we're the Ross. <laughs> and then you go, raw, I better find a petrol station. <laughs> it's a madness. You got a young chick next to you laughing, saying, that's what it does. <laughs> TV programs. Same thing, we'll show up different ages. You don't talk about one thing. I, was, I piped up one time about who shot JR. Do you see, yeah, this is what I'm saying. You know when you see a blank expression and you feel hurt? I learned don't ever get in an argument. Don't ever, man them, I'm gonna tell you now. Don't try and get in no text argument with any of these females. They will fuck you up. And your feelings. You ever try to argue with a woman via text? You're trying to do a long essay, you know. My girl does sentences. Boom. One, two, pussy out. Boom. Hold that. You know, good in. She does it in short sentences that you can't miss nothing she's got to say to you. Two lines at a time. And it hurt you. Hurts you. You'll be getting mad hearing ping, ping, ping. And because I'm an older man, first of all, before I get in the argument, I've got to find my fucking glasses. <laughs> Rude boy, I can't even see what this bitch is saying. <laughs> it is, it's a killer. Older generation, I will say, wiser, know what they want. Everything, I'm more scared of older women in their 50s or ones that are going, I've got to say it in their menopause, man. That scares a man, that scares a man. We got to deal with you. They will say, why man, you've got no right. Yes, we do. Because we got to live with you nutters. <laughs> and I always, I figured out, it's two different things. You got the young girls with their temper and the older girls with the menopause. And I, I can spot the ones on their menopause now. It's down to an art. <laughs> See, the younger ones, if they're hot in here, they'll pick up like a flyer or a piece of paper, something they didn't bring with them to fan themselves. You see the older woman on the menopause, she come prepared. That bitch come with a, a, a fan, a flick, vroom. And she be sitting down there fanning herself like Geisha. So, always ask the same questions. Is it me, is it hot? Is it me, is it hot? <laughs> bitch, we're standing in snow, is you. Is that what you got? You come prepared. Are you going through it? Seriously, how, how is she managing, big man? No, uh, no, I'm asking you, are you scared of her? Blink twice. <laughs> if because she'll be smiling, you know, but when she leaves, it's a different thing. She'll pull a knife on him in the car, pussy wall. <laughs> you see? Women know, look how they're laughing. You lot know you're crazy. And as muscly as he is, he's scared of her. 
I am telling you now, ladies, a woman on, on her uh, monthlies or menopause, men, don't matter how big they are, they are a little bit scared of you. They won't admit it. I'm skinny. I admit all shit. Yeah? They're scared of you. That's why I love big girls. I do love big girls. And people think, oh, you got to be skinny. No, I love big girls. Some of you look, look chunky. Chunky bit. No, no, no. They're chunky. They're chunky. I like a bit of chunky. I'm not talking too big, but a bit of chunky. Yes! Why not? But you frighten me. Because if I marry you now, I feel that I'll become... You ever seen the film Norbert? I will. It's like, if I don't want sex, she don't care. I could be in the bath, my girl, boom! I said, no, no means no. I was having a bath, put me back. <laughs> I learned from young, don't fuck about with the big girls, man. You get them angry. That's a different thing. Primary school. You remember at primary school, I looked like that. <laughs> Seriously, you get them, them big girls at primary school. If they push you, you got to take a bus back <laughs> to the argument. Bitch, don't touch me like that again. <laughs> Shit. They're strong. <laughs>